Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies, lasses, and everyone in between. So, today I am going to show you how me and my niece and nephew made time, art, time out jars, calming jars, sensory bottles, whatever you want to call them. So the basis is, it acts like a, a snow globe. This one is one that my niece made, and for hers, I didn't put too much glue so that when all her stuff goes, it goes down pretty quickly, whereas mine, we'll set that there, it has a lot of glitter and a lot of glue, therefore it moves slower. I'm going to show you how to make one with this empty bottle. Now I wanted to use Voss bottles because it's a sleek design but i ended up using core i think these are core bottles because i wanted you know the top to be different like i wanted it to be like boss this is the closest thing to vase that i that i could find so i've got all of my ingredients crafting supplies laid out we have an empty water bottle i kind of cheated and put it a little few pieces of like sequins in already they were on the floor and I just wanted to put them in there I did sort out a bunch of different sequins and shiny shapes that I wanted to put in we mix glue and water to give it that lava effect that lava lamp effect the more glue you make the slower everything's going to take to get to the bottom Example being, this one had less glue, this was my niece's, and this one has more glue, and you can see that the glitter is still floating around up there. So I am going to use a lot of glue. I think I'm going to use the rest of my bottle. I We were able to make three of these so far using this bottle for reference. I have big things of glitter I wanted to do like another galaxy one so I have all of these fun glitters and then food coloring you can or cannot use food coloring. you can put anything in here basically as long as it's not porous and as long as it's fairly light and I have some water so what I am going to do first is put all of my sequins in. Oh, this is going to be hard. Let me go see if I can find a funnel, guys. Pause. And play. So I didn't want to go grab a funnel, so I just made one out of paper. So I'm going to shove all my sequins in. Sequins in. And this, it was really fun to make with the kids. I did lay a tarp down when I was doing it with them because it can get messy. Let me pour the rest of this in here. And blood out. It's a lot of sequins. A lot of shinies. Mm, I dropped a few pieces. So I'm just going to make sure they all go in. And it seems like it's clogged up there, so I'm going to give it a little tap, tap. Wow, they went everywhere. There we go. Okay. So, now that my sequins are in, I'm going to fill it halfway with water. I spill, I spill. That's enough for now. I spilled. Need wash rag. Cause I'm getting water everywhere. Sorry. Um. 
<laughs> These are really fun to make. They are so fun to make. Okay. As you can see, they kind of got the lava thing going on. Some of them are floating, some of them are sinking. And now it is time for the food coloring. A little goes a long way. <laughs> she wanted purple and she got a really dark purple. I was going for a pink, but I got a light purple. <laughs> So I'm going to add way less drops. I think I added six drops of food coloring in mine. So I'm gonna do three. I'm gonna do two red and one blue because I like that galaxy look when you add all the glitter. So one, two, and it's food coloring non-toxic everything here is non-toxic except for the gorilla glue Ugh, i love that color let me see i find that beautiful and then one drop of blue okay hopefully this will give me a rosy pink color and at this point Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Mix those colors. Mix those colors. Oh, yes. As you can see, that is a much lighter color. You can see my fingers through it. I'm going to add one more drop of red. Mm, boop. Okay. Shake, shake, shake. Yeah, I'm liking this color. I really am. So now it's glitter time. No, now it's glue time. No, now it's glitter time. Or is it glue time? It's glitter time. <laughs> so the colors that I chose are, I have three shades of blue. I have, what is this? party blend white and fine white i've got teal i've got tinsel blend midnight gem glitter and then we've got some pink party party blend some pink fine some purple fine and then black and silver so what i want most is white and black. I think I may use the rest of my black glitter. And you can put as much or as little as you want. Just remember the more things, the more items and more glitter that you have, the longer it's gonna take and the thicker it's gonna look. As in, this one has way more glitter than this one. See? I like a lot of glitter, <laughs> so I'm going to put a lot of glitter. So now it's time for the fine white. Okay. Like I said, I'm going to be using the rest of my black. There's not that much black glitter, but I want a galaxy look. So, <laughs> okay, what's next? Add some silver. I think I'll use the rest of this one too. Okay. I noticed that this color makes it look like you're like, gal. I don't know what to call it. I want a galaxy blend. And that definitely helps with the galaxy blend. And then we're going to do more purple than pink. This is the fun part, just putting it together. <laughs> and this is all in real time. I don't do edits. So by the time this video is ending, I will tell you guys how long it took me to put this all together. Or you can just look at the timestamp. Okay. Okay. Gonna add some pinky pink. 
Pinky Pink Party Blend. Hello? Oh. <laughs> and the best thing about this is that there is no real measuring. You know, you just, it's, it's more for a creative mind. I found, I found this thought in group therapy and I thought that it would be a fun project for me and the kids to do and they loved it. Okay, last color. Okay. Now it's gonna look chunky and choppy because you only have half of the water in. And the reason why you only wanna do half of the water at first is because you need room for glue and you don't know how much glue you're gonna want until, until you try it out, you know? So I just shake it to make sure it doesn't like clump in the uh, glitter in the sequence. And for this part, you kind of got to be quick. Some people add the glue first, and I feel like that's a little bit messier because you might get stuff mixed in it or like stuck in it. So yeah, this is going to be an, an extremely slow moving timeout jar. I'm just going to use all of my glue. <laughs> I have white glue, but I thought clear glue... I mean, it's clear. You can use white glue. It'll give it kind of a cloudy look. Just a little bit of a cloudy look, depending on your glue to water ratio. Where's the cap? I don't know. It's not toxic. We'll live with it. So this is the part where I fill it most of the way up. And I give myself some room just in case I want to add more stuff, which I usually always do. We are 12 minutes in, and I could screw the cap on and be done with it. But I don't want to. So you shake, 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 and make sure... Ah! For number one, you make sure you don't spill, because then your hand's covered in not-so-good stuff. Go ahead and try that again. And this time... There we go. You still leaking? Nope. Okay, and this is the test to see how slow things move. Oh, that's nice. They're moving quite slowly. Oh, I just realized that, that was too high for the camera. Yes. I definitely want more glitter, though. It was opaque, but since I added all the glitter, now it's not. So. More glitter. I'm going to use the rest of my fine white and mix it with the party blend white. I love glitter. Can you tell? Yeah, I'll leave that much glitter. Like I said, I usually like to leave the glue for last because when you shake it, you get bubbles. And the more space you have, the more bubbles can come up. And these bubbles, unlike soda bubbles, do not want to pop. It is quite irritating. Um... I can't remember if I put the dark blues in here. That was my alarm to take medicine, but I took it an hour ago. So let's put some more glue blues. More blues. Some tinsel. What is this? Midnight gem. I, will, I love the name. I think I'm going to go overboard with this too. 
And like I said, it's all about creativity. You know, it's really hard to mess one of these up. <laughs> my my only qualms, my, my only thing is that you super glue the lid all the way around and twist it really fast when you're done so that it doesn't leak, so that your kids won't open it and try to drink it. Like I said, it's non-toxic, but who wants to let their kid poop glitter? You know, I, I would not like my child to poop glitter. And let's compare this to the other one that I have. Definitely more glue in here than in here. I don't know if you can tell, but some of the sequins haven't fallen off on this one. Yet all the ones are down on the bottom on this one already. So I think I'm satisfied. I'm just going to add a little bit more red, a little bit more water. I wish I can add more glue. <gasps> I can add more glue. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. I'm scared. Yep. That's enough. That's enough. And that's what I meant by foamy. Okay, since I, nope, I wanted a dot of red. So in total, I did use six drops. Did I? Yes, I used three, three red and one blue. So that's four drops. I, I'm feeling pretty confident that I'm ready to close this for good. So it's time to take the glue, the super glue. I like Gorilla Glue, that's just me. And this is the part where you wanna do this for your children, if you are doing this with your children. If not, I mean, I hope you're a responsible adult and don't try to eat this glue or the glitter or the water. You know what? Just don't put anything that's not food in your mouth, please. Okay, so I lined the edge, the rim of the cap. And it's that easy. Es completa. Shake that red in there a little bit. Yeah. Look at how pretty that is. So, that was less than 20 minutes with me explaining and talking. Like I said, I don't edit my videos, so what you see is exactly what's happening. Now, when to use these. Now that we have these awesome child lava lamps, what do, right? Yoink. So here's what do. When you're upset, when your child is not happy or stressed, you tell them shake, 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 and shake it up as hard as they can. And like I said, depending on the glue, it's, it might take a little bit, but then they'll be forced to watch the glitter and maybe get their mind off of whatever is upsetting them. Me personally, I like to use mine as meditation guides. So say you want to meditate, you want to clear, clear your mind, but your mind is going everywhere and, you know, that's okay when you're meditating. But sometimes you just want to observe something, you know, like the trees outside or something like that. And I think this is a really good, a really good um, toy. I don't know. It's, it's fun. It's fun to make. It's fun to look at. 
it's really good for meditating, for timeouts. Um, I was looking it up online and a lot of people use it for their um, autistic children and even babies. Like they're just amazed at the color and the glitter. So we're gonna do one more test where we shake all three. My nieces, the one that I made earlier and the one that I made just now. And this one has the most glue, this one has middle glue, and this one has the least amount of glue. So I'm just gonna be talking while you guys can watch these awesome colors. Um, I, I love it. Last night, I was picking out the sequence that I wanted to use for today. And when I was really tired, I just put on some music and watched my watched my mini lava lamp shake it's great for kids it's great for stressed adults it's great for whenever you want to take a time out a lot of kids think time out is a bad thing i personally think that time out is a good thing you have the time to sit back relax and just contemplate well i hope you guys make yours as easy and as fun as i made mine and i hope you guys get to put it at good use See ya. Bye.